Many years ago, I had a series of health events which left me unable to leave my bed. I was short of breath all the time. My heart was constantly racing. I had no energy and spent most of my day laying in bed. In a search to find answers to my medical worries, I saw a doctor who was located an hour away from me. Hello doctor, I am having a lot of chest pain. I am also short of breath and very fatigued. Yes, that sounds very concerning. I think you should wear a heart monitor and that will show us if anything is wrong with your heart. Okay, sounds good. Here is some paperwork. Take it with you to the laboratory and they will give you a heart monitor. Okay, thank you. I go to another office and find the laboratory assistant. I am given a heart monitor and told to come back in two to five days to return the heart monitor. Okay, it is time to get up for the day. I always hate this time of the day because my heart just seems to race out of control. So here we go. As soon as I stand up, my heart races very quickly. Whew. Oh, I think I'm going to stay in bed all day. My heart is racing very quickly and I'm very, very exhausted. Okay. Whew. Three days later, I travel over an hour to return the heart monitor back to the clinic. Two weeks later, I have my follow-up appointment. I have here the results of your heart monitor. What were you doing at 8.30 in the morning? Your heart rate was extremely high. I got out of bed. Where is your journal? My journal? What are you talking about? You were supposed to keep a journal of everything you did. I did not know that, but I can tell you what I did. At 8.30, I got up. At 9 a.m., I went to bed for the rest of the day. Without a journal, these results are worthless. I have no record of what you were doing. I can tell you what I did. I got out of bed at 8.30, and then at 9 a.m., I went back to bed. It is the same routine I do every day. No, I need a journal of what you were doing. Come back in a month. Well, let's do the heart monitor again. I will keep a journal this time. No, we tried that. It did not work. Come back in a month. I left the doctor's office and never returned back. A few months later, I went to a large medical center and saw another doctor. Hello, doctor. I am having a lot of chest pain. I am also very short of breath and very fatigued. My heart races whenever I stand up. That sounds very concerning. It seems as though you may have a medical condition called postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. We often abbreviate it as POTS. Have you ever heard of this condition? No. To test for POTS, I am going to put in an order for you to wear a heart monitor for 24 hours. That should give me a good idea of what your heart is doing. Do I need to keep a journal? Oh, no. If you have POTS, I should be able to see it by looking at your heart rate. Whenever you stand up, 
your heart rate should go up. And I should see that on the heart rate monitor. I go home with the heart monitor. Two days later, I return the monitor and have a follow-up appointment. Here are the test results from your heart rate monitor. Let's take a look at them. You must have gotten up about 8.30 because look, your heart rate is nice and even at 55 beats per minute. This is all during the night. It's very healthy and beating at a constant rate. And then 8.30, bam, your heart rate skyrockets to 175 beats per minute. It then goes back down. It looks like you must have laid down. And then all through the day, whenever you get up, it skyrockets high and then you lay down and it goes back down. I think you definitely have POTS. I'm going to put in an order for you to be fitted with compression stockings. Let's start with compression stockings and go from there. I am thinking we should follow up in about a month. Would following up in a month be good with you or do you think you need to be seen sooner? Following up in a month is good with me. Okay, great. I will see you in a month. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact me. Take care. I wish all doctors were as kind and caring as this doctor. I am very grateful doctor number 87 showed me this enormous kindness. Without this physician, I might still be searching for a diagnosis. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.